Alright everybody, what is going on and welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to the 2020 NFL Scouting Combine video! We are on the third of the day, it is Jalen Hurts and his full 2020 NFL Scouting Combine workout. The only reason I'm looking at this is because I basically I'm just going through the list. I'm going through the, the Scouting Combine uh, playlist on YouTube. Uh, these are all NFL's videos. I don't claim any ownership over the footage. I don't claim any ownership over the players or their likenesses. All I request from the NFL is to not block my fucking videos. Anyways, guys, let's get into it. I've been up and working till the morning, yeah. Yeah, they've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. Yeah, and I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like a Jordan on my way. Tell him I'm my lane, I've been praying Yeah, yeah, yeah. gotta say this thing, I'm the same I don't need another person telling me I can't Only a short one, Jalen Hurts, three minutes Put it in HD, let's go Six foot two, not just the physical from Oklahoma of it, but the, the preparation Having spent the, some time at Alabama Six months in, in doing With someone like he does. And that just was for our uh, audience. Just for our audience here. You know, Kurt and I was talking about this earlier. I mean, these quarterbacks are taking their time to throw that slant. Now, if you're playing with me and you take your time to throw that slant route, I'm like, listen, dude, that slant route is getting way up in there with those linebackers. That's a headache. Every year I knew. see that. It's who knew. Now it makes sense what he said. Now, I don't know who's talking, but it's obviously a wide receiver from uh, from back in the day and he's saying that uh, better get those fucking slant throws off quick mate because I don't want to be catching it and getting my head taken off by a linebacker it's unbelievable every year I see that Rich I'm always I just laugh at the fact of course he was number one right yes, right and it was uh, 20 years ago last week wow 20 year anniversary of Tom Brady and the old wow <laughs> it could have been the Hoosier Dome back then Jalen Hurts is interesting to me. Now, the issues that Jalen Hurts has sometimes is vision and anticipation, which you're not going to really see in this setting. But we saw the athlete that he is, and you see him throw the football. The ball is live. It jumps out of his hand. And watching him go through the drop right here, Kurt, I think his feet, when you stack him up with the rest of the guys up there, looks pretty good. I don't think there's any question that his feet are Still looks better. like a basketball uh, player. Again, watching at the top, not relaxing, not coming up. Or a cornerback. Uh, but you're right. I mean, the biggest thing is this kid is an athlete. He reminds me a lot of a Russell Wilson-type player that you get him out, you get him out in space, he's moving, he can make throws on the run. It's Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, you know, a lot of people, Bucky Brooks, our colleagues, is used the Dak Prescott comparison with Jalen Hurts. It's somebody that's, you know, you you, you might have some. I quite like. Know, I think he could come out of this thing when it's. A I quite like seeing how the quarterback looks across to the wide receiver and like signals them that he's about to go. Whether he gives them a smile or a wink or a little, you know, whether he's completely serious, it's quite cool. And he just smiled at that guy and said, "Go long." We well, didn't say go long, but he's like, "Right, fuck, you know what's going on." <laughs> Gave him a wee smile and hit him with a bomb right on the chest, a 50 yard bomb. It's all said and done. People have been talking about him as a third or fourth round pick. I don't think he's going to get out of the second round because of what he can do as a playmaker. And you're seeing now he can really spin the football. Um, he's got some things to clean up, but there's there's a lot to work with there. Would be accurate for this throw, I guess, too, is Jalen Hurts. 54 miles an hour. It's a little bit of a gamble there, potentially. Herbert doesn't have any of those issues, so if it's close, if you have those guys very close, you know, I, maybe that... 54 miles an hour. Now, there's one thing that came to mind. Fastest football throw. Okay. Speed guns have only been used at the NFL Combine since 2008, and the record for the fastest throw has been held by Colin Kaepernick in 2011 at 59 miles per hour, and that has been bettered by former Virginia Tech quarterback Logan Thomas through the ball at 60 miles per hour. Okay. So 54 is definitely respectable. Cause you to lean in a direction for Herbert. I, I think I have two a, a pretty good bit ahead of Herbert, but those are the type of discussions that are happening with these teams. Yeah, I mean... I, ah, I that's, that's actually, that's two quarterbacks we haven't seen um, do the combine. That's uh, two noteworthy quarterbacks that haven't worked out at the combine. And that is... Possibly the two first drafted quarterbacks, and that's possibly the reason why they're not there because they're confident in their um, their placing there, their, their ranking. But uh, it is in no particular order: Joe Burrow and Tua Tungabailoa. Yeah, such the unfortunate thing, right? With Tua, I was just thinking about as I went back and watched tape of him earlier this week, and just thought, man, if there was no questions about health, 
man, it was neck and neck with him and Joe, and, and I could see a lot of guys go the other direction. And you just start to wonder, Kurt, when did you have elite quarterback hair? When did you find it good? You know, that was not one of, one of our blessings, me and you, Rick. Kurt uh, Warner. Never had that, uh, that elite quarterback hair. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I had flow back in the day, sir. Really? Yeah. Like a lead quarterback here? Is what we're talking a lead anchor. Okay. Okay. Nice route. Nice throw. Man, I can't wait to see who drafts Jalen Hurts. The way Jalen worked out today and the way he's throwing it, there's a lot to a lot to work with. They, they should even take more time at this line of scrimmage to get those guys time to get the ball up in that back corner like Jalen Hurts just put. Well, good workout for him today on the field and... All these as well. Ran a four five nine broad jump of ten five vert. Ten five thirty five and a four five nine forty yard dash. Great stats for a quarterback. It's going to be interesting to see where he gets drafted. Okay, guys, that's another one done. That was extremely quick. Um, just like I said, which is great because usually a three minute video turns into a ten minute video, and we don't want that. Anyways, guys, I hope you've had a fantastic day. I hope you are enjoying your lockdown period, your isolation period as much as possible. I've actually really enjoyed mine. I've been um, very creative on a daily basis and it's been good with no, you know, no um, distractions. So uh, I've really enjoyed it and we're coming to the end of it now. So I thought, you know what, before all these responsibilities start to creep back into my life, we have to make these videos and that's what we're doing. So in the next video, guys, we are looking at the best of the offensive lineman workouts at the 2020 NFL Scouting Combine. And that is a great video because apparently there was a really, really impressive 40-yard dash. But unfortunately, they didn't show the offensive lineman running the 40-yard dashes. They just showed the defensive lineman running. So I'm assuming that if there was a 40-yard dash that stood out, we're going to see it in this video. And I can't wait for that. So I'll see you then. Peace out, everybody.